What's going down? Gag crew. Welcome back. So Basketball Wives Orlando Season 1, Episode 2, Grand Reopenings, Grand Closings. So Ashley doing a photo shoot for um her the grand reopening of her store, whatever says COVID, I believe. And um her ugly ass husband come around there for support. Moving on. <laughs> um Ratatouille one of many at home with her dad. Um, and she's with a new man, but she's keeping it quiet. But actually, no, she's not, because we find out later on that it's Rashad, which just so happens to be Danielle's baby daddy. And Danielle, the fact that the people are still just referring to him as just the baby daddy, I mean, I don't know. Maybe that maybe that's just a woman thing. I don't know. Maybe you was way more to him than that. I think you said you was. Um but I don't know. Like, I, I I know I'm skipping a little bit. And y'all know, I ain't got no issues with Morgan. But I see more. Morgan is giving me grace from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. And that is not good. All right. That's what I'm going to say. She's giving me grace from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. And that is not good. Because she's one of them people where her friends is her friends. And if she falls out with somebody, she's expecting all of y'all to fall out with that same person. And I don't get me wrong. With what Ashley, with what she's alleging Ashley did, Ashley's wrong is two left shoes for that. And I understand Morgan never wanted to be around her again. That's fine. But for her to sit up around here and try to make other grown ass women pick a side over a situation that ain't dealing with them, be clear. Like it's, it's, and I like Morgan, but I, that's That's going to be a problem for me. Like, cause I see where this is going. This is going to eventually be a problem for me. I'm just going to be real. Um, moving on. Morgan throws her daughter a party for her 11th birthday. Shout out. Happy birthday to the little girl. So Lindsay and Danielle come through and she tells that she tells all of them about her sit down with Ashley again. Ashley, you wanted to send that damn girl. And that's why she got up and walked away from you, because at the end of the day, people are grown as fuck. All right. And yeah, you're you mad. And I, I, I and I don't know that about Ashley. But for some reason, I just do, I, I, I don't think that Morgan is wrong in what it is. But Morgan, you're going about it the wrong way. You're giving her all of this in like have all of this energy for Eric. Like you you have the, like could be like it, whatever, because that's that's anyway. Danielle says, um ratatouille one of many is where her baby daddy was shot and use another one danielle first of all you give me a erica banks tea you get, you give me a erica banks tea right along with them dried up ass baby hairs you was calling yourself trying to read her down down that ashley thing but girl how can you read her down when you when your uh baby hairs and 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 all of the crust because of the gel that cheap gel you put in it was all crusty and shit. And then I think it was the same way down in the last scene with you and Morgan. And you up here trying to let these hoes have it. Like, Danielle, Lord have mercy, Jesus. Like, y'all y'all just determined to put all of the energy on the ones that y'all think are the sad chicks or whatever the case. Like, I... Because, like, I see Danielle and Morgan being the bitter Betty crew. I'm going to be honest. I see them being the bitter Betty crew, and that's going to be their alliance. Like, okay, little baby Erica Banks, little baby Banks, because that's really what you give me, friend. You give me a little, a, a little Erica Banks Jr., even down to the baby hairs, girl. Moving on. Um, 
Mulan doing uh, basketball drills at, for content. Um, she played basketball and, you know, she did her thing there and she's still doing her thing for the gram. Go off, Mulan. Moving on. Morgan meets with Danielle for lunch and she also invites Nikki uh, and Lindsay. So Megan says she knows that Ratatouille one of many was the one who told her business to Morgan. Um, yeah, yeah, Mackenzie, I won't with that either. I won't with that either. Um, I don't know why you felt the need to tell Morgan that, but I don't know. Lindsay comes and Megan gets her together nicely um, about bringing up her situation. I appreciated it though. Mega was nice about it. Lindsay explained herself. Lindsay, quit being messy. Quit being messy. That won't nothing that anybody had to know at that point in time. If they didn't know, it won't no need for them to know. Although I get where you coming from, because considering what Morgan got going on here, it's crazy to me. And it's also crazy to me, Morgan, that you're not also throwing Megan in the Ashley and Mackenzie pile. Because later on in the next scene, when Mackenzie, y'all know Ratatouille, one of many, um, invites her out to see whether they're on a good page or not, you're upset with her because she's still friends with Ashley considering what she did with you. But again, I mean, that's that great shit. You upset with her, so everybody else in your camp it should be upset with her and not fool with her no more because of what was done to you. And if she did that to you, she's wrong as two left shoes. But let that be their decision of whether they want to play her to the left or still be cool with her, but from a distance. Because again, it happened to you, not them. I don't know. I just feel like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't think Megan is cool with her. So maybe that's why you ain't throw her in there. I don't think Megan cool with her. I think Megan is just cordial with her because she didn't do nothing to her. But at the end of the day, I don't think Megan like her. So, okay, fine. But whatever. Anyway, um, and I don't feel as though Mackenzie necessarily jumped ship and became friends with her. I believe she was just like, I mean, that's y'all thing. She ain't did nothing to me. And I think that Mackenzie, being a grown ass woman, a grown rusty ass woman at that, got the right to make that choice and decision and not be, because people gonna feel like I'm taking up for her and it ain't necessarily me taking up for Mackenzie. I just don't like it when people try to put people in that box and in that barrier and put flame under people like that. Like, well, she did this to me and I don't like her. And I don't want to fool with nobody that like her. So if you friends with her, me and you can't be cool. Like, okay, bitch, bad. Like, okay, and gone. <laughs> gone. Like, whatever, because the people in the comments gonna get me together. I don't know. I, I, that's just my, that's just how I feel, y'all. So uh, Mulan got her sisters. Well, she's talking to her little sisters on the phone, on FaceTime. And obviously they're going through some stuff at home. So she wants them to get their minds off of that, apparently, and come around there to be with her for the summertime. They agreed to do it. And yeah, that was that. So we can move on from that. No shade to Mulan, but girl, I can only give you what you give us. <laughs> okay, moving on. Um. Ashley's grand reopening. Now, the grand reopening, it was cute for what it was. It looked cute. Like I said, the store looked high end. Um, now, did anybody buy anything that day? Now, that is the question. If anybody knows that, if y'all follow Ashley Snell or whatever the case may be, and her snail looking ass husband, Tony Snell, if y'all follow them and whatnot, y'all let me know. Let me know if she placarded all over her social media or something that, you know, it blew up and, you know, 
it won't nothing else in the store because everybody wound up buying it, everything. It was that much support. Y'all let me know. <laughs> Megan invites Danielle. Mackenzie and Danielle face as face to face with each other. Danielle, what I don't like is how you allow this girl to get under your skin to a point of you want to come out of character and want to prove at how you was you're still talking and still fucking your baby daddy, a man that you got up here and admitted yourself that's a master manipulator. My thing between you and Morgan is if he if they're a master manipulator. And if y'all know she's going to believe anything that a man would tell her, so then why are y'all sitting over here trying to make it seem as if she's... I don't know, y'all. Like, again, I'm not... Listen. Because Jamie, on the la on our little panel last Sunday, Jamie says she don't trust Mackenzie, and I can see how she could. I get it. But I don't know, y'all. For me, I just feel like Danielle coming in there as hot as she was, and she just wanted to make it known so bad that she's still with the master manipulator that she said that he was. I, I, I don't. And the fact that they're still referencing him as just your baby daddy, not your ex boyfriend, not your ex fiance, not your ex husband, just your baby daddy. I mean, I, I don't know, y'all. <laughs> like, cause she annoys me on on an Erica Banks level. It's bad enough she looks like her. She annoys me like her too. Like, because that she, like, because I don't know nothing about Danielle. And Danielle is probably a real cool chick. I'm going to give her a chance, but I just, uh, <sighs> Megan told you before you went in there, conduct yourself like a lady. You said with a master's. So you a lady with a master's degree and you still could have composed yourself and have a conversation to get the information that you needed. Because my thing is, if he's a master manipulator and you know he is because you admitted that, then why not give her the opportunity to hear what she got to say? You came in hot calling her a sad chick. That set the tone for what happened. I mean. I ain't got no problem with Danielle, y'all. I just or Morgan. I, I'm y'all doing all of this fuss over two fuck niggas that ain't worried about neither one of y'all. Like they sitting there doing whatever the fly hell they want to do. Y'all all over national TV crying. <laughs> <laughs> One still being with them, sh showing receipts to the new girlfriend that you. <laughs> Oh, Lord Jesus. When will y'all let the young things get <sighs> moving on? We need more women like my mom. Like, <sighs> you're saying daddy gone. May she rest in peace. Child. <sighs> the two bitter Bettys uh, chill with each other. Y'all know Morgan and Danielle. And, you know, they bonding over the trauma of what they went through with their ex baby daddy and ex-husband listen again one i appreciate the vulnerable moment i do i appreciate the vulnerable moment um and i ain't gonna make light of that because it's obvious that you know it it, it what they had with their men was what they had I, i'm not taking that for granted but at what point do we no nah, i'm not gonna do that 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 these are her feelings. She's not over it yet. This is why she's so upset and angry and mad and taking it out on so many people and, 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 and you know, trauma bonded with the next hoe and just ah. Lord Jesus, I, I don't want no smoke from none of the women. I don't want no smoke from none of y'all, child. So I'm just Hirsch. What do I know? I'm a Hirsch. Um I'm a Hirsch because I was once a scorn woman myself. I've been there. It took me a long time to get over it. You know what I'm saying? I was angry, mad, and bitter too, girl. And people used to tell me that and I got mad with them too. I've been there. You understand? I've been there. I've been there. Lord knows I've been there. So I, I, I ain't going to... It was a cute scene. I will accept the scene. I like Morgan still. You know what I'm saying? I like Morgan. I'm still getting to know Danielle. I don't know nothing about her. We good. The 
stuff. But anyway, y'all jump down in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought about last night because it, it was last night at this point. Episode, listen, I enjoyed it so much better than Basketball Wives LA. I'm going to be honest. I enjoyed them so much more than Basketball Wives LA. I, I did. So I I don't know what they sprinkle in on on Orlando, but keep sprinkling it in on Orlando. I'm 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 here for it. I just you know some of these women coming up here with this little girl mentality, y'all. I I and I like them. I, I'm i you know y'all. Let me know what y'all think, and I, I'm gone. <laughs> Bye. When you're gone